Skills in business etiquette could mean the difference in you getting promoted or not. They could mean the difference in you becoming a leader or not. The thing is, most people don't know what business etiquette is, what skills they need to develop, let alone how to develop them. But in this video, because you are a high achieving professional who strives for excellence and elegance in everything that you do, I'm going to share with you three super important business etiquette tips that if you master will help you build your personal brand, connect better with others and avoid offending people in the office. Let's dig into it. Number one, avoid using your phone or tablet in meetings. So I'm going to um, explain to you why using your um, phone when you are in meetings is so bad, but just let me finish typing this text message for a minute. Okay. Done. So actions speak louder than words, right? After this little acting attempt of mine, how did it make me look? Like I was focused, like I was interested in the conversation. How did it make you feel like I was paying attention to you? Let me know in the comments below. If you've ever been in a meeting and you were using your phone or your tablet like this, there is a 99% chance that you looked this way too. Using your phone or tablet in a meeting makes you look distracted and rude. It makes you look like you're not focused on the conversation because, well, you're not. You're focused on your phone instead. Whether you're a leader or a team member, this type of behavior in teams needs to be avoided. According to Doodle's State of Meetings Report 2019, the biggest irritation people have about meetings is taking phone calls and making texts. Use wise business etiquette and prove that you're committed to the team and the topics being discussed. Avoid using your phone or tablet during meetings. The second business etiquette tip I have is to use safe compliments at work. Now, what do I mean by safe compliments? Safe compliments are ways to praise or compliment other people at work in a way that isn't offensive or unmannerly. And this is a pertinent topic in the workplace today because people get offended, they get stressed, they become disengaged, they might even quit, or they might report you to HR for giving them an offensive or inappropriate compliment. None of these situations will help you advance as a professional. So we're going to look at some compliments to avoid and compliments that are safe for you to use. Compliments to avoid would be about appearance. So commenting on somebody's appearance. For example, you're so beautiful. You look so slim in that outfit. Those pants fit you really well. Complimenting people on the way they look, on their body, on their physical appearance, or even their gender identity can easily be construed as harassment in the workplace. You might think that because you're saying something nice to that person, you are giving them an acceptable compliment. But in many workplaces today, it won't be interpreted that way. To be safe, I recommend you steer clear of compliments about somebody's physical appearance. Instead, use any of these safe compliments at work, somebody's work ethic, achievements, or effort. For example, I'm so proud of the effort you put into this. This is an amazing achievement, Janet. You're a great example to others. She has a great work ethic. So when it comes to complimenting people, don't focus on someone's physical appearance, focus on their work ethic and their work output instead. This is highly recommended if you want to avoid harassment claims against you and if you want to be known as somebody who everyone enjoys working with. And this is especially important if you aspire to a leadership position because your boss won't hire you or promote you if you have a reputation of giving inappropriate comments at work. They don't want to know that you are going to land them in legal trouble in the future. They can't take that risk with you. So stick to these safe compliments when you aspire to be a leader. Now we're moving on to the tip that will help you with your personal brand, and that is dress the part. Now you might think that I'm contradicting myself a bit here because of the last point where I said you shouldn't compliment people on their physical appearance. But when it comes to your physical appearance at work, you need to be aware that people will judge you on the way you look. They will judge you on what you wear to the office. I get it. I know it seems like double standards, but here is why dressing the part is so important. When you dress the part, you look like you fit into the company culture, that you're the right hire, and that your boss can trust that you will represent the company well when interacting with clients. This is critically important at every stage of your career, whether you're at an entry level or whether you're in a leadership position because of a phenomenon called the halo effect. 
The halo effect was coined by Edward Thorndike and is the tendency for positive impressions of a person, company, brand or product in one area to positively influence one's opinion or feelings in another area. Meaning if people develop a positive impression of you because you look the part and you represent the company well, this will influence their opinion they develop about you in other areas such as level of intelligence or level of competence for the job. To learn more about the halo effect, how to create an executive wardrobe, how to dress for your industry, and how to learn business etiquette skills so you can succeed as a professional, I highly recommend you check out my video course, Business Etiquette 101 Social Skills for a Success. It is currently available on Udemy. It is rated 4.5 stars out of five stars. I have 20,000 students enrolled in this course. I regularly receive reviews from those students and the most common one I receive is I wish I had this knowledge before I started my career. It is invaluable advice and knowledge that you're going to learn in this video course. If you wanna check it out, I have created a discount coupon for a limited time because of Black Friday, a five day discount coupon, which will start from the day this video is released on YouTube. So if you wanna check it out, if you wanna purchase at a discount, I encourage you to hurry and get that course. The link is in the description below. It will take you directly to Udemy. You can even watch free preview videos about the course to decide if you want to buy it. Now, if the course isn't for you, then check out the other videos on the screen right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel too, and I will see you in the next video.